The development of tribal areas in Himachal Pradesh is one of the major steps taken by the state government for its economic development. The border districts of Kanor, Lahal, Spiti and the Pangi and Barmer Texels of Chamba districts are the major tribal areas of the state. They are located near the borders of Tibet and Indian states of Jammu and Kashmir. Other backward areas include Shilla in Sirmur district, and deep cut-off valleys in the Kulu and upper stretches of Kangra districts. Due to poor accessibility, life in these areas had grown in isolation. Kanor was opened up in the early 1960s with the completion of the Hindustan-Tibet National Highway. Lal was opened up in the late 1960s with the construction of roads over Rotang Pass. Lal is only in contact due to high passes like Rotang, Kunzam and Baralarka. Spiti is a cold desert and is a very underdeveloped area. The building up of an efficient transport system was the topmost priority in the first five-year plan. The state has three airports at Pantar and Kulu district, Jabarhati near Shimla and Gagal in Kangra. It was only by January 1991 that Himachal was linked up with the broad gauge system by extending the Delhi Nangal rail line. Although railways and airways in Himachal serve very limited transport needs of the people, the road network of the state makes it unique. The geography of Himachal presents considerable challenge to the development of transport infrastructure. Nevertheless, the state has made significant progress in road connectivity in the last few decades. Himachal at present has the highest road density among all the hill states of India. Although Himachal also has three airports and two narrow-gauge rail tracks, roads remain the main mode of transport in Himachal. Himachal Road Transport Corporation bus outside of Manali eight national highways pass through the state with a total length of 1,235 km. NH1A touches Shapur. NH20 passes through Patankot, Chaki, Nurpur, Jagindar Nagar, Palampur and Mandi. NH21 connects Chandigarh with Manali through Mandi. NH22 connects Ambala with Korak through Kalka, Simla, and Wangtu. NH70 passes through Mubarakpur, Ambassador, Nadon, and Hamarpur. NH21A begins at Pinjor in Haryana, passes through Nalaga and reaches Swargat, where it connects with NH21. NH88 connects Simla with Kangra through Hamarpur and Nadon. NH-72 begins at Ambala and passes through Ambassador and Pounda Sahib in Himachal Pradesh before terminating at Haridwar in Uttarakhand. The state boasts some of the longest road tunnels in the country namely the 3 km long out tunnel in Mandi on NH-21 and the under construction 8. 8 km a tall tunnel which will create an all-year-round link between Manali and Lahal Valley which otherwise remains isolated during its 8-month-long winter period. In addition to the national highways, the state also has a large mesh of highways and village roads. Most tourist spots in Himachal Pradesh such as Shimla, Manali, Dharamshala etc. are well connected by roads. Some of the roads in Himachal are seasonal and get closed during winters and monsoons due to heavy snowfall, landslides and washouts. The Manali Lay Road, for example, remains closed for most part of the winters. The World Bank has approved a loan of $220 million in 2007 to improve priority segments of the state road network. The government-owned Himachal Road Transport Corporation runs an excellent network of buses interstate and across the state and provides all-weather access to the remotest of the corners of the state. Himachal Pradesh being a major tourist destination, there is no dearth of private buses and taxis. In spite of state being hilly, Hamirpur district has got highest road density in the country. See also KSR Diesel Locomotive 148 at Kalka Himachal has two narrow gauge rail tracks. The Kalka Shimla railway track has a length of 96 km. It passes through 102 tunnels and crosses 864 bridges. The track has been in existence for over a century now. Panoramic Kalka Shimla railway known to be an engineering marvel of British India. The level of difficulty in laying of tracks could be judged by a journey in the route. The other narrow-gauge rail route in the state is the Kangra Valley Railway. Vilaspur Lay Line is a proposed railway project in Himachal Pradesh which will be the longest railway track in the state and is expected to become the highest railway track in the world. The Kangra Valley Railway covers a distance of 164 km from Patankot, Punjab to Jogandarnagar and Himachal Pradesh, present, between this line is proposed to be converted to broad gauge and further linked to Vilaspur Lay Line at Mandi. Both these tracks are commercially unviable but are operated because of their heritage value. A broad gauge line exists which connects Nangal Dam and Punjab to Yuna in Himachal Pradesh. Currently this line is being extended till Talwara with track operational till Dalat Perchauk. 
Yuna is connected to New Delhi by Jan Shatabdi Express and Himachal Express. The three airports in Himachal Pradesh are, Shimla Airport near Shimla, Gagal Airport near Kangra and Pantar Airport near Kolu. All these airports have runways shorter than 5,000 feet and therefore only allow the operation of smaller aircraft such as the Bombardier-8, 70-seater ATR and 42-seater ATR. Himachal Road Transport Corporation HRTC Bus at Shimla Bus Stand. Thanks for watching.